Big Ten Coach of the Year, Tom Allen, joining us now. Coach, congratulations. You were voted to this award both by the media and your fellow coaches. What did it mean to have both of those groups select you? Well, it means a lot, man. Just a tremendous honor. I feel so blessed. And and uh, it's just a tribute to our entire staff. We've got an amazing group of men here and and uh, just bought in just like the players have. And they believed in what we're building and the way we're going to build it. So just a testament to everything we're doing here at Indiana. At what point did you realize this could be a special season for you guys? Well, I thought we had a special team. I, I told these guys this in the beginning. Uh, obviously, just with all the, the uniqueness of 2020, they just never knew how things were going to play themselves out. But uh, you know, obviously, that, that initial win over Penn State was uh, a great way to start. And then you just continued to build off of that. And, and I, I just uh, believed in these guys from the beginning. And then once they started believing in themselves, uh, it just took off. Who's the first person you thought of when you heard you had won this award? My dad. He was my high school coach. Uh, he's my hero. Um, I, I coached because I saw the impact that he made in this profession and uh, just the kind of man that he is and then the way he built relationships and, and uh, the LEO concept. It wasn't a phrase he used, but it's how he lived his life and how he coached and how he uh, was a mentor to so many young men along the way in all these years. So that's exactly who I thought of. To have that kind of a connection with your dad and then to have your son on – probably the most special team that you have coached. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's just uh, an amazing blessing. You know, I know uh, his season was cut short, but the time together is not, uh, you know, that, that doesn't diminish that whatsoever. It's just to be able to share with family, to share with the ones that you love, uh, uh, just makes it awesome and just makes it what it is and makes the memory so great and, and just realize how unique and special it is to be able to have your son on the team. That's just not something that happens very often. And to have him on this team at this time uh, just puts an exclamation point on an amazing year. How do you get a bunch of big, tough hmm. 18 to 22 year olds to buy into LEO? You build it every day. Uh, you invest in their lives. You help them grow as men. Uh, you prove to them every day that you care about them way bigger than football. And to me, that's the key. And once they know that, once that trust is built, uh, I think that's the key. And I think then the football part just kind of overflows from that. But to me, the key is intentional relationship building on a daily basis. At what point did you know that had clicked, that had resonated with them? Because it's so clear that it has. I mean, just that scene a couple of weeks ago with players coming off the field and pointing to you and saying, this is the guy to play for, best coach in America, and we love you. It's obvious it resonates with them. But when did you know that, that you had struck this chord? I think in practice, uh, when you see the effort, um, in drills, special teams, things that, that when people aren't watching, uh, how hard are they willing to work, the sacrifices they're willing to make on a daily basis. Uh, um, I, I think that's when I start talking to our, to our coaches about, hey, this is a special group. Here. Hey, watch this. See these guys do this. Uh, when they, the eye contact, uh, even when things aren't going good, the, the, the way they respond to you on a daily basis, I think that just through the good and the bad. Uh, I think you just see it building as a season, you know, all the adversity of COVID, all the adversity of the starts and the stops and all the things we've been to, they just never wavered. And I, I just think that kind of just showed to me that what I thought I knew I was seeing, you know, initially, and uh, it's obviously grown over time. Do you ever stop and think about your journey? I mean, you are 10 years removed from being the linebackers coach at Drake. Yeah. And here you are coaching a team that's been in the top 10 in the college football playoff rankings this year that is you know, looked at right now as one of the top programs in the country. Have you stopped and mm -hmm. pondered it at all? You know, I uh, I don't think I did as the season was going week after week. You know, them obviously we had this unfortunate stoppage here with COVID challenges. And so you kind of take a step back and take a deep breath and, and, and maybe realize what's going on really and truly. But now it's been an amazing journey. I said it all along. Uh, just so blessed. So many people helped me get here. I wouldn't be here without my family, uh, their belief in me, their support, all the sacrifices they were willing to make, uh, coaches that believed in me. Chris Creighton hired me my first college job, you know, out of Ben Davis. And, and Hugh Freeze believed in me, hired me my first coordinator's job in college. And, and Willie Taggart hired me as the first Division I coordinator's job for me. And then 
you know, um, just come in here. And Kevin Wilson believing in me and hire me as a, a defense coordinator in the Big Ten. So all those individuals just come to mind and, and just the journey, you know, it just makes it special and all the sacrifices by the individuals that have played for us and all the, all the players that have helped me, you know, get here because it's their performance that, that obviously creates this award and, and their buying creates these opportunities. So I just feel, you know, so blessed and just thankful for what I've been given. You mentioned having this time to reflect, and clearly it's not time you'd necessarily want. I know you'd much rather be out there playing. How disappointing is it to have the Purdue game canceled out for a second time? Very. You know, that's a game we look to every single year. Uh, have it circled on your calendar. I've uh, got signs in our building about that game and what it means to this program. And so, yeah, it's just it's tough. Uh, but it's also just the reality of, of how serious – of a challenge we're all dealing with across this country. So it is a game. So the health of our players and the health of the players at Purdue and their coaching staffs and our staffs is way more important. So, but yeah, it's just, uh, you know, you, you want to play, you want to play in it. And it's unfortunate with such a special season, we didn't get a chance to have it, but uh, you know, we, we can't change that right now. You lost key cog in your program this week with Kane Womack taking the head coaching job at South Alabama. What does that mean for Indiana football? Well, it's a great testament once again to what this program's doing. You know, when other places want to come and hire your staff away to be head coaches, that's a that's a great thing. We had our office coordinator last year, Kalen DeBoer, go to Fresno State, and just so happy for Kane and his family and Melissa and their boys, and so excited for them and their future. So I uh, couldn't be more you know proud of them. Yeah, you know, we've been together for a long time. We kind of you know we we talked about this years ago, this vision for being able to do this together. Didn't know where it was going to happen together, but uh, ended up being here at Indiana. But you know, just. Uh, He's done a tremendous job for us, leading our defense and the way they play. But he's going to finish out with us, so we're going to be together one more time here for this bowl game when we find out where we're going to go. So uh, just so happy for them. What's next for this program, Coach? What's the next step? Well, you know, right now, to me, uh, based on what we're doing this year, is got to go into Big Ten. You know, that's the next step for us, and we've talked about it, believing in that. Uh, we're close this year to having an opportunity to do that, but didn't finish. And so now that's, that's to me, is the next step, continue to build, Keep investing in football here at Indiana. Keep recruiting, keep developing, and keep uh, doing the things that we believe in here at IU. The Big Ten Coach of the Year, Tom Allen. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Dave, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Elio.